God is good, oh, hey. My God is good, oh, hey. My God is good, oh, everything a double double. Now double double, everything a double double. Now double double, hey. My God is good, oh, hey. My God is good, oh. Hmm. Father God, thank you. We thank you, Lord. We thank you for your love, O Lord. Because we've never seen a God like you. We thank you for the breakthrough. We thank you for the strength. The strength for us to be at your presence every single day in mighty name of Jesus. We thank you for your word that you're releasing upon us every single day in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Heavenly Father, Lord, for the path that you are designing for us in the name of Jesus. My Father, my God, I thank you, Lord, for the life of your children that are listening to this, that are reading your words every single day, Lord. I thank you, Lord, for your guidance, for your protection in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Welcome, brothers and sisters. Welcome one more time to God, me and you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Because God is good. All the time, God is good. He never fails. He's unfailing. God is good. I am here today because of God's love. Because of hmm, the strength, the healing that is putting upon me. Because you know, when you start doing God's work, you'll be receiving some punches from left and right even though for a long time this was what i was running away from i just thank god that every single day is pouring out his energy in me to be able to do this and each time i'm here to read his words that's when i get that energy that willingness and the moment i'm there i'm fine all the negative energy and everything just disappear so now we're going to read the full bible passage of first john chapter 4 and it goes like this beloved do not believe every spirit but test the spirit whether they are of god because many false prophets have gone out into the world by this you know the spirit of god every spirit that confesses that jesus christ has come in the flesh is of God, and every spirit that does not confess that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is not of God. And this is the spirit of the Antichrist, which you have heard was coming, and is now already in the world. You are God, little children, and have overcome them, because he who is in you is greater than he who is in the world. Verse 5. They are of the world, therefore they speak as of the world, and the and the world hears them. We are of God. We, he who knows God hears us. He who is not of God does not hear us. By this we know the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. Beloved, let us love one another for, for love is of God and everyone who loves is born of God and knows God. He who does not love does not know God for God is love. In this, the love of God was manifested towards us that God has sent his only begotten son into the world that we may live through him. Verse 10. In this is love, not that we loved God, but that he loved us and sent his son to be the propitiation for our sins. Beloved, if God so loved us, we also ought to love one another. No one has seen God at any time. If we love one another, God abide, abides in us, and his love has been perfect in us. By this, we know that we abide in him and he in us, because he has given us of his spirit, and we have seen and testify that that testify that the Father has sent the Son as Savior of the world. Verse 15, whoever confesses that Jesus is the Son of God, God abides in him, and he, he, and he in God. And we have, 
And we have known and believed that, that love that God has for us, God is love, and he who abides in love abides in God and God in him. Love has been perfected among us in this, that we may have boldness in the day of judgment, because as he is, so are we in this world. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear. Because fear involves torment, but he who fears has not been made perfect in love. We, we love him because he first love, loved us. Verse 20. If someone says, I love God and hate his brother, he's a liar. For he who does not love his brother, whom he has seen, how can he love God, whom he has not seen? Verse 21, last verse. And this commandment we we have from him that he who loves god must love his brother must love his brother brothers and sisters that's why the words as well say that if you have an any argument do not go to bed angry with one another forgive and forget our lord jesus christ said that Forgive 70 times 7. If they slap you on one cheek, turn the other one. Love one another because nobody is perfect. Every day we commit a sin. Brothers and sisters, it's just love. This world makes the world so complicated when everything is just about love. It's only love that can conquer evil. Please. God bless you. Love one another. Good night.